Hey Foundry Groups, it is good to be with you guys again this fall. Um, we are rocking through November already, it's crazy. And you may be looking at me like, man, Matt's beard is coming in so well. Um, for the first time, I'm participating in No Shave November, so thank you for the encouragement. That is what I need to stay true to the beard that's coming in so well on my face. It's funny because my, my daughter, this is not groups content yet, but this is good. You'll want to hear this. My daughter always comes up to me like she touches my chin and she'll be like, dirty chin. Chin, like wash chin and I'm like oh man you know how to hurt a man like you at, at two years old just know how to uh, just be brutal to my self-esteem anyway um, I want you guys to know as groups as you're going through groups content um, don't feel so uh, so tight on the actual content that you have to get through every single question that we provide for you these questions are really just a way for you to start having conversation if life hits the fan for you guys and you need to just derail and have a conversation about what's going on in some of your members groups in some of their lives feel the ability to do that don't don't try and get through all the content and stop good conversation from happening because you feel like you have to get through it all so just have that permission to use this content as a resource to grow deeper but we want you live in life together too so know that you have that ability um, we right now are in a series called return to me um, we've been looking at a few prophets, and this week we looked uh, specifically at Ezra, um, and his story is just, just fascinating. And when we look at some of the themes that we see in his book, it, w one big thing that stuck out to me is this idea of stopping and taking stock, sifting your life through the Word of God. And I think so often in our world, we rush through everything. Right, when I look at the life of Jesus, I often, I, I try and compare the way I'm living to the life of Jesus, like, okay, how do I get there? Um, Jesus didn't rush through life, right? He never seemed rushed. He never um, made decisions quick. Like, he, he didn't rush through things. And I think so often our culture makes us rush and makes us run and makes us decide things right away. And yet in the book of Ezra, we see stop. Right, Take stock and look around you and see what your life is like through the word of God. What do making decisions mean through the word of God? How do your conversations look different through the word of God? And using, all the, using the word of God as our reference for how we live life. Um, and I think that is so powerful to take note of as we start jumping through content today. Um, so... We're going to jump right in, and we'll go from there. All right, let's jump into the icebreaker. The first icebreaker is this. Did you play with any building toys as a kid? Let's think like Legos, building blocks, uh, uh, Lincoln Logs. Lincoln Logs were my favorite. I thought I was so cool playing with Lincoln Logs. What did you guys play with, and do you remember ever building anything crazy? Ezra made a uh, note throughout his book of this idea of taking stock. Uh, when you look at your life, when was the last time you had to stop and take stock on something? And what time was that? Pastor Eric mentioned this weekend the following was an important step in rebuilding. According to the example we have in Ezra, what did this look like? There's a few fill in the blanks on, on your group's content, so check that out now. Take a minute and read Ezra 7, 10 through 13. Now put yourself in the place of the young people seeing the foundations laid. How do you feel? Now on the other end of the spectrum, picture yourself as the older generation who had seen the former, former temple. How do you feel? Now, 
Is it possible for good things like rebuilding to cause mixed emotions? Why or why not? What do you think we should do with these emotions? And maybe what shouldn't we do with these emotions? In the message, it was said that if you don't know why something broke in the first place, you can't rebuild it. Why do you agree or disagree in that statement? Next, take a minute and read from Ezra 4, 4 through 5. While the people were rebuilding the temple, they faced a lot of opposition. Um, Do you think this happens to us when we're trying to rebuild something? It may be a relationship. It may be a business or our occupation. It may be um, even our health, right? Do we face um, opposition in a similar way? Do you find living with courageous obedience to the direction of the Holy Spirit something that's difficult for you or easy? Is it easy to comprehend and easy to follow or is it something that's hard and you don't know what it looks like? Sometimes in our lives it's easy to say yes when we have the Holy Spirit call something into our lives. But then sometimes it doesn't work right away. Or maybe the outcome wasn't as we anticipated and we start to second guess whether the Holy Spirit actually called us to that thing or not. Or maybe we think, well, it's not happening right away, so we should just give up altogether. Describe a time when you may have experienced this. Can anyone in your group describe a time when um, they didn't give up and they pushed through the persevering hard times? For those people, what helped you persevere? The prophets Haggai and Zechariah show us that encouragement and truth are vital in rebuilding the temple. Um, How can we give that to one another? When we think about our own lives, how can those things happen amongst ourselves? Our group says, always feel free to spend some time in prayer and uh, just living life together. Talk about the things that are going well, the things that may not be going well, and the things you need prayer through in that. If you got some more time after that, jump to our Digging Deeper section. We take a closer look at Haggai, the prophet Haggai, and some of the, some of the uh, concepts around the temple. And we don't have the temple anymore, or do we? Right? It'll jump into some of that stuff. So if you got time, run it that way. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you soon.